getting real. It's getting real. I'm inexplicably filming this from a tennis court where I came on my morning walk for some reason. But it could always be worse. Remember that. I was thinking about it. There's probably a couple out there that was living together and this all started. And then they got sick of each other living in close proximity and then they broke up. And they don't have separate places to go at this point. So they're trapped together for weeks. Your situation's not that bad. Anyway, has anybody ever had like a, an experience that you weren't absolutely sure it happened? It was so surreal or otherworldly. Um, I had one like 20 years ago, and I want to run it by you guys. I had finished college, and I needed a place to live for about a year, and I was working, making like $13 an hour, so I needed a cheap place, and I found it in this house with, uh, I shared with four other guys, uh, it was 200 bucks a month cash, the place was a real dump, just absolutely hideous, I shared a bathroom with three other people, it was a scary bathroom, like I would wear shower sandals in it, but anyway, um, we can talk about the roommates some other time, but suffice to say they were all really, really big recreational drug users. And I would go to work and I would come home and I would take a run and by the time I got back, they would all have come home and they would all have smoked a ton of pot and it would be hanging up in the air. And they would do ecstasy and magic mushrooms and all manner of stuff. So it was basically, I was the only semi-functional human being at night. Well, um, so one night I come home, and I'm sweaty from my run, and I'm tired, and I decide to take a shower, and so I'm in there, and everyone else is downstairs, and I'm just finishing up, and I've, uh, I've taken my glasses off, so I can't see very well, and I'm toweling off, and I hear a knock on the door, and it's this urgent, insistent knock, and... I think it's my roommate John. He's left an erotic magazine on the counter of the sink. So I yell, okay, hold, hold on, John. I wrap up in a towel and I grab the magazine. I open the door and no one's there. The hall is completely empty. At first, I think it's empty. And then I look down and our fifth roommate is there. Our fifth roommate is this house cat named Mina. This, she has long black and white hair. Um, tuxedo cat and Mina's pretty chill she usually just lays in the hall sort of secondhand passed out from all the smoke um, but now she's up she's looking at me and I'm wondering did, did Mina somehow knock on the door so I look down I'm like what are you up to cat the cat looks up at me cocks her head walks right past me into the bathroom I close uh, I turn to follow her and she goes over to the spot between the toilet and the shower and bends over and starts to investigate something and I don't know what and my glasses are off so uh, I have to bend all the way down to see what she's doing and I'm so nearsighted I have to get about six inches away from the cat to see what she's she's looking at and I discover that there is a mushroom growing out of the floor of our bathroom and it's about this tall, and the cap is about this wide. It, it's a reasonable mushroom, and I don't know how it got there. The two main possibilities is that our bathroom is so gross and wet that it just sort of spored because nobody was cleaning, or one of my roommates could have pooped out a psychedelic mushroom spore, like, inaccurately, and that's where it's from. Anyway... So I'm bent over, uh, mostly naked, wearing a towel, still a little bit wet, six inches away from this cat and a mushroom. And the cat starts to eat the mushroom. And as I sit there watching, in the span of about two minutes, the cat eats the entire mushroom down to the nub where it was growing out of the floor. And... It, it just happens, and I watch it happen. At least I think I did. 
and then the cat turns around and it looks at me eye to eye like who's gonna believe this and then it just walks out it just came in ate the mushroom and walked out and I've carried that memory with me for for decades and if I die in this or some other time no one will ever know that that happened Stay strong, guys.